Hi everyone, welcome to How to Do Technology. Today we are going to see which are the different ways to create an object. So let's start. Uh, we have the literal notation way and also the object constructor notation way. In both cases, we can create first the object and then we can add the properties and methods. So let's see. I'm going to command first we can create the object and then we can add the properties, properties and methods. So the first way is, let's see, is the literal not notation. So here we need to do a uh, declare the, the object, object like this bar or tell, for example, equal to my object. This is the literal notation. Then we need to um, create the properties uh, and values and assign assign these properties and values to these methods. So hotel uh, name, that is the property. For example, now um, let's see the Mirage Las, Las Vegas like this, then we can create another uh, property of this method, of this object, sorry. So like hotel rooms, how many rooms this um, hotel have, 200 for example. Then another like hotels, booked, booked rooms, like we'll see like 120. And also we can, uh, uh, define the the methods here the so the here we have the object and then the method that I'm going to create check availability equal to function that is my method then that is going to return me the total of the rooms uh, I mean this method will check the availability of the rooms or the hotel half. So I'm going to say this rooms uh, less this booked something like this, and this method will return me the availability or the available rooms that that the Mirage Las Vegas have now. So this is going to reference to this uh, object that is object rooms, that is 200 less uh, this bucket that is this property here. So this is, this is the literal notation. Um, and we are here first declaring the object and then we, we can add or we are, we are adding the properties here and the method. So this is one way. The other way is, um, oh, let's see. The other way is the object constructor notation. So in this case is the same, uh, is similar. So we need to create first the, the object. Let's see hotel equal to new object like this. We are declaring here this variable like as a object with this new object. And then we need to do the same. Uh, we can add uh, the properties and methods. So it's the same. We are declaring here uh, with this notation and I'm going to have this, this copy and then paste. So it's the same. We need to create a reference for this, like uh, my object, then my property, my object, my property and the value. And also it's the same uh, object and, and the, the method that I am uh, creating here. So this is the first way uh, to create first the object and then we need to add properties and methods. We have uh, the literal notation that is like this 
and also the object constructor notation that is like this. Uh, the other, the other when we when we want to create an object and also uh, create an object and also create the properties and methods inside that object, we can we can use like the same. So for example, literal notation. Literal notation, like this. So here, let me comment just for not to be confused. Here we are creating the object with properties and methods. It's like inside, inside the object. So in the first case, literal notation, we need to declare the object, so bar hotel, equal to, we need to open uh, this, then uh, we need to call the, or create the properties, for example, name, the mirage, oops, mirage, Las Vegas, like this, then my other um, property, so this, this property, if you see, are inside inside the object like this and if you see here i just i just declaring the object and then assign outside the properties uh, create the properties and then assign the values to the properties uh, so here let's see rooms we can say 200 and then book it like 120 and then i'm going to create my um, method like this and say function and return this uh, rooms less this book it book it yeah so this is the way that i am uh, creating the literal notation object but inside we have all the properties and methods uh, also, we can do the same inside. We can create a, inside the object a, with. So let me see this format. Uh -huh. The object constructor notation. So here we can create the function. In this case, if we want to uh, create inside properties and methods. Uh, we can create a function that is calling hotel and then here we are going to pass the properties that we want to have in this object so in this case this uh, notation or object constructor notation uh, this function uh, can help you to use you can use this function to create multiple uh, objects. Uh, so you can use this function to create multiple objects. So let's see, we have the name of the function that is hotel. We are passing name, rooms and book that are the properties. So this name is equal to name this um, rooms rooms is equal to rooms this um, what else this book it book it is equal to book it book it like this and now so we can declare methods inside this uh, function so we say this check availability is equal to function and then return return this rooms less this book it book it like this so here we have inside or uh, our properties and then inside our methods this is method 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 and these are 
properties. So this is my properties. And this is reference to this, um, for example, this rooms. So this room and this bucket that is here, this bucket. Um, so I, I mentioned to you that this has helped you to uh, create multiple objects. So let's see if you want to create like um, other object uh, with this function, you, you need to say just hotel bar, let's see, flamingos, flamingos, las Be, oops, Vegas hotel equal to new you are creating a new hotel so you are using new to create a instance of this hotel so new hotel there you are going to pass your own uh, properties like let's see flamingos here and then you need to pass the rooms that your hotel going to have let's see 300 and then book it and let's see 100 so this is going to create a new object of uh, using this function new object using using hotel function uh, what else if you want to create like another uh, object you can create another object for example let's see win las vegas you can say new hotel again using this and let's see you need to have one name 400 uh, rooms and book it 200 so in this case you also are creating new hotel or new object using hotel function so that's it for now here just like a, as a resume we are creating um first with literal notation my object and then outside i am creating the properties and method properties and method then uh, with the object constructor notation i am creating the first the object and then outside i am uh, assigning or creating the properties and methods also we can create the object with properties and methods inside so using literal notation you need to uh, declare your object and inside uh, you are um, assigning or creating your properties and methods if you see you are separate separating each one by comma here instead of using this so this is the difference um, also, you can create uh, multiple objects. Objects, if you have a function or uh, a function like this, this is calling object constructor notation. So you have the function here, the properties that you want to have uh, here, name, rooms, bucket, and you have the properties here inside, and also the method here. Uh, for using this uh, object constructor notation, you need to create like. Uh, here bar some variable to assign the new object so new this keyword you need to use the new keyword and then hotel that is calling uh, your constructor notation hotel and you need to pass uh, the the name of the hotel the rooms that is here and also the bucket rooms that are that is here and you can create a multiple multiple objects so that's it for now thank you for watching this video subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos thank you so much